Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now, make sure to stick at the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so our problem here is 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. So right now, just simply taking a glance at this problem, I know that x here, this is going to be a decimal. Because I know that 5 to the power of 1, this is equal to 5, and 5 to the power of 2, this is equal to 25. And 6 is somewhere in between 5 and 25, meaning x is somewhere in between 1 and 2. However, x is a decimal, and it's really hard to just guess for a decimal. So to find the value of x here, this is my solution. So I first start with 5 to the power of x is equal to 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the log on both sides. So now I have log. 5 to the power of x is equal to log 6. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So log 5 to the power of x, I'm going to do the exact same thing. And the reason why this property is so useful is because right now we have 5 to the power of x equals 6. And because we know that x is going to be a decimal, it's going to be really hard to find out the value of x just as an exponent. So now, as you can see, once we change the exponent x, once we make it go to the front, it's going to be a real term. And then it's going to be much simpler to solve for it. So I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 6. And now if I move x to the front, I get x times log 5 is equal to log 6. Now I'm simply just going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm left with x is equal to log 6 over log 5. Now log 6, this is equal to 0 0.77815. 5. And log 5, this is equal to 0 0.69897. So now if I divide these two, I get 1.1132827. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. So I want to find the value of x here. Now, first off, 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So if I replace 4 with 2 to the power of 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2x. Now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, is equal to a to the power of n, and this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3x. Now, to solve this, I'm first going to take, or sorry, I'm first going to subtract both sides by 3x. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with 2x minus 3x is equal to 0. 
Now, if I factor out x from here, I get x times 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so now I have negative x is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by negative 1, I get x is equal to 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So my answer is x equals 0. Now to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now I know that x is equal to 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 0. Now 3 times 0 is simply 0 because anything times 0 is 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. Now, any number to the power of 0 is simply equal to 1 besides 0 itself. So, 4 to the power of 0 this is going to equal 1, and 2 to the power of 0 this is also equal to 1. So, I have 1 is equal to 1, and because this is right, my solution is right as well. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. So, right here, I want to find the value of x. So, for my solution, first start with 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to log 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move both x minus 2 to the front as well as x plus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 2 times log 3 is equal to x plus 1 times log 2. Now for both of these, if I distribute log 3 and log 2, well, first off, let's start with x minus 2 times log 3. x times log 3 is simply x log 3, and negative 2 times log 3 is negative 2 log 3. This is equal to x times log 2 is x log 2, and 1 times log 2 is simply just log 2. So now I have x log 3 minus 2 log 3 is equal to x log 2 plus log 2. Now I'm going to subtract x log 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 minus 2 log 3 is equal to log 2. Now, I'm going to add 2 log 3 on both sides. And these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. Now if I factor out x from here, I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. And 2 log 3, remember how I can just bring this to the front. So now I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus log 3 squared. Now if I divide both sides by log 3 minus log 2, these two cancel out, and left with, left with log 2 plus log 9, 3 squared is 9, over log 3 minus log 2. 
Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301, plus log 9, this is equal to 0 0.954, now this over log 3, this is equal to 0 0.477, minus log 2 again, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now this is equal to 1.255 over 0 0.176, which is equal to 7.13. So this is my answer.